Hey everybody, my name is Wilfred Paloma and I am one of the teaching artists at La Jolla Playhouse and I wanted to hang out with you for a bit and share some of the things I do in my um, classrooms and collaborations through the Playhouse that may serve you or um, uh, help you in some way. So uh, today I want to share a little bit about um, music and, and voice. I personally do um, different art forms, but that will be kind of our exploration today. And I, my handy dandy phone here is with me as well as a Bluetooth speaker. And these are the things that you will need um, in order to incorporate this work in your um, classroom, studio, or what have you. So, like I said, I do dabble in quite a few different art forms. And one of the things I like to do is, is kind of um, use interdisciplinary uh, type things. And um, on my phone here, I just want to share, I have this little phone, excuse me, piano app. It's actually called Virtuoso. It's free to download and there are many others, but like a regular keyboard, it shows up on your phone and it can Bluetooth link to whatever system you have. I have this and several others, and I also have a more robust um, kind of speaker that I use for um, you know larger spaces and such. So amplification, obviously thinking through that however you need or, or whatever you have access to. So, um, what I like to do in my kind of drop-in, check-in, and warm-ups, um, all of those in, in, in my class kind of work seamlessly. So depending on the day and depending on the variety that I need, I like to take the temperature of the class and then kind of go to what may be, um, you know, what students haven't yet explored or they seem maybe like, oh, they really react to, um, you know, listening to a particular song and they're they're singing or they seem more vocal today I, I that's what I use to gauge you know that kind of opening activity which this could be and what I like to do is just to show you know let me turn that up a little bit right c3 c4 and depending on the grade that you're teaching, and I've, I've done quite a, a range, you know, through K through 12, but uh, for example, in a kindergarten class, can you guys match that pitch? Uh, oh, can you jump here? Mm, uh, and a lot of times I'll ask them to find the pitch. So, depending on, again, their age, their experience, or their kind of ease and comfort with accessing their voice, immediately able to assess. Um, and that right there, that's a full interval jump. So, la, la, we're already getting into not only call and response, but also their access to their instrument. Um, kind of jumping from this, you can do obviously that same kind of thing. Can you find this? Right? Like they, they again, assessing the students, but also challenging them in not only pitch, but interval. So, da, da. And also switching vowel. Instead of ah, we could do ooh, ooh or e, e, right? Or mixing vowel, e, ooh. Those are all fun. Now, obviously, this may feel like it skews to youngers, but in, you know, thinking about older folks or more even experienced, I've used this in um, like adult level courses here at the Playhouse that I've taught, and rather than vowel, I use lyric, right? And so things that they may already have in their experience and their bubble. So for example, everyone knows, or I, I feel like everyone has a, some semblance of knowledge uh, for Somewhere Over the Rainbow. I've actually used that both in adult classes and in a kindergarten class. <laughs> so, right? Some, some, where, there's that interval. Let's take it from 
written somewhere. Oh, can we take it down? Somewhere, which is the, the typical kind of interval. You can, like I said, play with the pitch. Some, for those, um, you know, with higher voices, that actually is now playing with kind of belt, potentially mix, right? So there's a lot of value in just this one little app and this one little speaker. Um, so just to kind of recap, playing with interval, playing with vowel, ooh, ee, ah, ah, la, ah, which by the way, I'm not only switching vowel, um, but in that last one, I switched the onset. So onset being how you start, right? The, the, the word or the, in this case, the vowel. Uh, la as opposed to ah, right? So a lot in there. Hopefully this is helpful. Again, Virtuoso is the app. Very simple. And again, this could be a light, uh, quick kind of foray into pitch and vocal and warming up. But also it might be fun to like take it into song and maybe connecting it to a contemporary song, Taylor Swift or what have you that um, they're jiving with. So have a great one. Hope this is useful to you. See you later.